in the following way. And I, I'm using the, um, the case of trans ideology simply because it's the clearest case biologically. But if you take the rules of trans, and I actually believe probably these ought to be the rules online, which is you can present as whatever you want, and by and large, people should just simply treat you that way. And you also, by the way, online have the tools to do that so that you're not creating uh, a, a, some kind of unresolvable um, paradox. But if we then say, okay, the online rules are that there's no such thing as sex because a man can become a woman simply by uh, showing up as one. And then we say, whatever must be true in the real world in order for those rules to be the rules everywhere, we are going to make those things true. Therefore, it must be the case that biology was wrong about sex. And what's more, that um, because simply saying that you uh, are female is sufficient to put you fully in that category, then therefore, whatever um, morphology and physiology you happen to have at the point that you make that assertion is consistent with being female. And we have the absurd discussion that we now see so regularly about um, basically, you know, female penises and things like this. And so those of us with real world primacy are constantly saying you can't rewrite the rules of civilization around simple claims in isolation, like all you have to do to be female is say that that's what you are. Um, and that that battle is one that is now ironically going to be lost in the real world as a result of the fact that actually political power is accumulating in the hands of those who subscribe to the online rules. So the, the, the identity issue is, I mean, it forces us to, to <laughs> one of the things I found so, so challenging about all of this is that these challenges to fundamental assumptions force you to make arguments for things you actually don't know how to argue for. So for example, what does it mean to be female? Well, I don't know, because no one's actually ever asked me that question. They just act being female, and I act being male, whatever that means. And we don't ever sit down and lay out the explicit assumptions. Now, you do that to some degree when you're arguing with your wife about who's going to do what when, and maybe with your mother and when, with your sister. You have local discussions when, when roles come into conflict, but you never list the axioms that you're using to do your perceptual categorization. And so then when you're forced to defend your presumption, you don't know how to do it because you don't have the arguments at hand. So to be female, I mean, means something like, and I'm, 